he found God in, in his prayer life, in his simple humility, in his putting people first. He saw the real person. Bishop Francis Quinn was a voice for those who were voiceless. And he would go out and take walks at night on the mall, and he would meet homeless people. He wanted people to know he cared. And they would ask him for a blessing, and he would give them a blessing, and then he would say, now you give me a blessing. And he would kneel down and have them bless him. Monsignor James Murphy first met Quinn through their work on Catholic newspapers. Murphy was in Sacramento. Quinn was serving as an auxiliary bishop in San Francisco. Bishop Quinn had a tremendous knack of connecting with people. In 1979, Quinn moved to Sacramento, sharing the word of God as the diocese's new bishop for the next 14 years. I've never seen him get up and, and, and just say stuff that didn't engage you. He engaged you right away. He was a tremendous communicator. Bishop Quinn committed his life to serving others. His legacy lives on here at the Quinn Cottages. It's living every day that message is living here. Sitting at a picnic table at Quinn Cottages, Executive Director Chris Martin can feel the legacy Bishop Quinn leaves behind. He had so much joy about him and he loved being here. The bishop was instrumental in starting cottage housing in Sacramento. The program provides homes for the homeless and the resources they need to get back on their feet. He was a man who I think absolutely personified the gospel in terms of ministering to the least of these, taking care of the least of these. Quinn was the seventh bishop for the Diocese of Sacramento. Services will be held next week. Emily Malha, KCRA 3 News.